In my job, I do feel that um, I am really helping to contribute towards answering bigger questions about how we are going to support life on this planet, feed the population, but also look after our natural environment. Well, my name is Isadora Andrew, I'm 26, and I'm a PhD researcher at Rothamsted. My research involves looking at how different uh, weeds impact on crops and how they reduce the amount of food that's produced. We are losing vast amounts of food from just these plants being present where they're not meant to be. I was always quite academic at school. I always, uh, I slightly annoyed my teachers because I was quite chatty, but I was always very interested in uh, science. I was also very interested in history and uh, very interested in English literature. It was quite a tough choice for me. Part of me was thinking, maybe I should go English language, maybe I should go science. I gave it very careful thought and I decided that actually science was a very interesting area. There's always new things to be discovered. And it allows you to make really active differences to um, our world. You know, we've got a lot of challenges facing us, such as uh, being able to produce enough food for a growing population. And science will allow you to actually help solve these problems. Rothamsted Research is where I'm now working and um, it's a very well-known uh, agricultural research institute. It's known throughout the world and uh, there's a lot of work done here which is important in food production and agroecology. On a day-to-day -day basis my work involves uh, a lot of work up in out in the field so I'll do a lot of collecting of plants and I'll bring them back to the lab. My work also involves a bit of data entry and a little bit of stats just to see what the data is telling us about what's actually happening. I grew up in a small community in Cornwall. My family didn't have direct links with agriculture though, so I was a little bit worried actually that maybe I didn't have enough agricultural background to get into the uh, industry. But actually, through just simply showing that I had the interest and the enthusiasm, that gave me a good in to actually have the opportunity to work in this area. The advice I give to anybody who's interested in my sort of work is um, enjoy your studies, do a uh, degree similar to mine, maybe something like environmental biology, or you can go and do an agricultural degree, which uh, gears you up very much with the skills for this kind of work. I also suggest that if you can, do a little bit of voluntary work on the side. It will do vast amounts to make you look more employable and make you look really enthusiastic and willing to get involved.